blood. Some of these guys on YouTube, some of these fakes, these phonies, these actors on YouTube, blood. They take being masculine and this masculinity thing way too seriously. They take it so seriously, like it almost comes across as being fake, blood. You understand what I'm trying to say? Like it's an act. Like when you're so conscious of the way you're conducting yourself and that. Don't get it twisted. Man for conduct their souls properly. Man for not act goofy. But when you're so conscious of it and you're thinking about it 24 seven, that's how you know it's not, it don't come natural to a man. So you must've heard that months and months ago, like last year and that obviously Andrew Tate done an interview with Piers Morgan, didn't it? And it was difficult to watch. Piers Morgan was acting like a fucking idiot in that interview. Constantly interrupting him, interrupting him. My man, Andrew Tate's got a lot of gems to drop and a lot of explaining to do in the interview. Piers Morgan's not even gonna let him get a fucking sentence out. So anyway, I'm glad that they've done a second round. They had another interview and Piers Morgan let him speak and that. And that was a way better interview. Everyone said it in the comment section and that. It was difficult to watch the first one. So anyway, I'm scrolling through my feed and I see a video. And the video is titled, Andrew Tate Breaks Character. And then in the thumbnail is a picture of Andrew Tate and Piers Morgan in the interview. And someone put a caption in the thumbnail. Starts laughing. And you know what? I clicked on the video just to leave, the, leave a comment. I didn't even bother watch the video because I know what it's about. What do you mean breaks character and starts laughing like these guys in this youtube space they're so fucking stupid they're so robotic they, they they move like fucking androids and that they think yeah he's breaking character and that by laughing like what are we not human beings now what so in order to be regarded as a masculine man you have to act like a fucking robot 24 7 blood it's just stupid it's dumb there's certain man they feel like in order to be masculine and that, they have to walk around like the Terminator or fucking Jason Voorhees 24-7. Listen, if you want to have a laugh and a joke now and then, no problem, blood. That don't make you less masculine than the next man, blood. Come on, man. Man for be themselves, blood. This trying to be masculine and that. Why are you trying? What's there to try to be? It's either you are or you're not, blood. Some man think that laughing and that. And cracking jokes and that. See, there's a fine line between laughing and cracking jokes and being a fucking clown, yeah? But laughing and having a sense of humour and that makes you less masculine, makes you, what, leans toward the, the feminine side? Come on, man. What, a man's not allowed to laugh in an interview? Is, it, is, it, is, it, is this the world that we're living in now, that a man can't even laugh and, jo and have a joke and that's class as breaking character? It's just dumb, man. Like, there's certain man out here they, they do their hardest, they try their best to be masculine. So you know what they do? They get gold teeth in their mouth, tattoos and all that. Stuff. They think that makes them masculine, blood. Blood. You're either you're masculine or you're not, blood. I know I'm a masculine man. I don't need tattoos. I don't need uh, gold teeth. I don't need to walk around with big fucking knuckle dusters and them things there and that. The man want to test my masculinity, I'll smack you up. It's, <laughs> that's what it is, blood. But at the same time, me, I, especially in person, obviously, in my YouTube videos and that, I have to talk a lot more and that's how I'm trying to say, innit? I ain't gonna fucking be sitting up here like some mute. In person, in real life, I am a bit more quieter. Now, when I'm on the jobs with the tenants and that, I always like to talk and that. So, man's always constantly running my mouth and chatting to them and that, innit? Yeah? And I get along well with the tenants. But in real life and that, like, outside of work and outside of YouTube, I'm kind of like quiet sometimes, innit? I don't, I don't really say that much and that. But at the same time, I know how to talk. So it's just that you got different sides of you and that. But man know how to bust jokes with people and, and I've got a sense of humour and that. I'm charismatic and that. I'm not going to sit and be constantly watching or be conscious of whether I'm acting masculine or above. You shouldn't even, you know, even that word, acting. There's no acting. You, you, you are masculine. You're being masculine. I do believe in though holding masculine frame though. Yeah, holding masculine frame in here. Don't act goofy and that. But you have to. You have to. You have to. But there's a fine line between acting goofy and that and being too robotic and that. It's foolishness. 
obviously in, in life, especially out on the streets and that, you do have to hold a masculine frame, but that don't mean be fake. But you do have to hold a masculine frame and that. Because blood, if you're acting too goofy, you come across as too weak and that, weak body language, man, I'm going to try to test you. Especially at work. Or, yeah, if you're in there, God forbid, and you like end up in jail and that, blood, you better hold a masculine frame, blood. Man, I'm going to try to test you, blood, if you come across with weak energy, weak body language, blood. But it doesn't mean you have to walk around like Jason Voorhees or the fucking Terminator, blood. Man, are moving like you have to conduct yourself a certain way or else you're not uh, ma masculine. You, you have to fucking... I see guys on YouTube posing. Like, they'll have a picture and I ain't going to do it. But, like, they're posing like they're some sort of, like, I don't know, gorilla or something. And they're shouting, blood, like, and taking a picture doing that. Like, fam, do you think that's masculine? Blood? That's sneaky, blood. That's, that's nerdy, fam. And these are the same guys that will be talking about, oh, the bad boys are cleaning up with all the girls. And, fam, the bad boys ain't posing like that. The bad boys ain't doing it. I ain't doing it. I ain't doing it, but pose in a certain way that makes them look like an animal and, and, and shouting and taking pictures of that. I ain't doing that foolishness, blood. I ain't fucking trying to look masculine, so I'm going to get tattoos and gold teeth in my mouth and w walk around with a knuckle duster. I ain't doing that foolishness, blood. It's either you are or you're fucking not. Getting tattoos and that, but that ain't helping you. Yeah, you might look it. <laughs> So obviously all this masculinity shit is all for gal basically. So okay, so you look masculine and that. Bruv, watch a girl fucking test your masculinity and that. Watch a girl pull back and see you turn into a bitch and start chasing them, blood. Where's the masculinity then, fam? See, you can only fake it for so long, blood. You can only fake it for so long. This is why every man le loses their gal because in the beginning you was masculine. But it was more than likely all an act. You started bitching up, you started acting feminine. That's why your girl left you. 99% of men that lose their girl, they lost frame, fam. They became weak. They turned into a girl. They turned into a bitch. Their girl started leading and running a relationship, blood. But all of this, oh, like you have to act a certain way or else you're not regarded as... This ain't just to do with this masculinity shit, you know. I must have um, made that video all that time. Where um, the police stopped me on my car. So the police stopped me in my car, filmed it, and I slapped it on Facebook. And a couple of my family members come underneath the, the comment section of the video. One of them, and me, I read into everything. When someone leaves a dumb comment underneath a video like that, like if you post up a video or something that's significant, and someone leaves a stupid comment, that's their way of hating. Yeah. So one of my family members, one of my cousins, some dickhead, wrote underneath the video, she probably likes your body. That's why she stopped and searched you. The fuck does that even mean? Then one of my other cousins, another dickhead. Um, why are you smiling so much? Why are you laughing so much? That's what you put underneath the comment section. Blood, just because I'm a black man getting stopped and searched by the police, that doesn't mean... See, this is the thing. They feel like, certain people feel like, if you don't show a certain amount of aggression towards the fucking police, then you're a dickhead, blood. You're not one of the guys, blood. Fam, that's a dumb mentality, bro. I've even seen gal act like that. Like, honestly, there's certain people, they believe, yeah, if you don't show a certain amount of aggression towards the police and that, you must be a nerd or a neek or something like that. Even one time, one of the man them, his yard got licked up, and the police must have ran up in his yard, licked the door off when we were standing right there, innit? Because obviously us men are congregating outside one yard, didn't it? And then one girl that was two doors down must have come out. What's going on? Why are you stopping search? Because they stopped all of us and that. Why are you stopping searching all of them? Just because they're black and that. And I think to myself, blood, this girl, she's a quiet girl, isn't it? Like, why the fuck is she even talking, isn't it? Running them out, running them out, running them out, you know? And I'm just getting stopped and searched and that. And I'm just chatting to the police like it's normal. You get it? Because man's really experienced on the roads and that. So getting stopped and searched by the police is nothing, isn't it? She's running them out, running them out. And one of the police officers said, this guy here pointing at me is being cool, calm and collected. Why don't you just like relax yourself, basically? She's not even getting stop and search. She's just making up noise. There's certain people, they believe and they feel like if they're having an interaction with the police, they have to be disrespectful and rude. But these are the same fucking dickheads, blood. When their neighbours are making up noise next door, when their neighbours are burning weed and the smoke's coming in their yard, blood. When their boss talks to them like they're a fucking dickhead, blood. They don't say nothing. But when it comes to the police, oh, they're full of chat. They're full of mouth, blood. Dumb.
That's why you see a lot of the man them acting up towards the police and that. Because they feel like they have to. They're, they're supposed to act up towards the police and that. Blood. That's what I'm saying, fam. Certain men are just really not experienced on the road, you know. Certain man try to claim, yeah, I'm on the road. You get me? I was on the road. You, fam, you ain't no road, you blood, blood. Unless you've had plenty of experience with the police and that, blood. More than likely, you're not a road, you fam. If you're truly out here on the road, you would know. You would have had so much experience with the police to know, okay, this works with the police and this don't work. If I want to try and get out of a situation and that, uh, let me act this way. Or if I want the best outcome with uh, in a situation with the police, let me act this way, as opposed to acting that way, blood. It's just dumb, blood. It's childish. Man, want to run up their mouth, hype up to the police, but you're not willing to step to your neighbour, blood, or whoever out on the streets, because they know more than likely the police ain't gonna smack them in their face. More than likely. The police are going to try and talk them, talk talk it out with them and that. Whereas, yeah, maybe someone that lives close to you out on the street, they ain't going to take no time with you. They're going to smack you up. It's like, it's like a younger sibling running their mouth to their older sibling who's like six, seven years older than them. They'll run their mouth to their sibling, tell them to shut up and that. But they will do that because they know, oh, I'm in the house. My parents will protect me. Rare, rare, rare. As opposed to in school, there's one fat kid in their class who is the same age as them, but they would never dare test that child because they know that kid will step and smack them up, mash them up, and brought them up in the class. Because they know they know who to play with, they know what they can get away with and what they can't get away with, and that. But yeah, man, this I'm not saying man, yeah, man for conduct themselves in a masculine way all the time, but it should just come natural. Man should not be checking and watching themselves 24-7 to see if they're acting masculine or acting feminine and that blood. It should just come natural, fam. Become let me just this is the way to become if you're a weak energy man, yeah, this is the way to become masculine, yeah? Become a man of fucking substance, become a man of purpose. Become disciplined, make sacrifice, don't take no shit from no one and confront people when you got a problem. That don't mean you have to bust them up and mash them up and brought them up and that. But learn to confront people and that. I'll tell you, you develop all them things that you will naturally become masculine. You don't need to watch no videos or nothing like that. Have ambition, have drive, fucking make sacrifice. Work on becoming the best friends of yourself. Check people. Don't be afraid of a confrontation and that. Oh, yeah, you soon become masculine if you're not afraid of a confrontation. If you get into the, 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 the mold or the mindset of always confronting people, whether it's out on the streets or your parent or up, um, dealing with situations that might be quite awkward and that. Oh, you definitely develop a masculine edge. You don't need to be out on the road shutting and trapping and that to develop a masculine edge, blood. Or go to jail to develop a masculine edge. Just learn how to deal with awkward situations and that. Man's always in... I mean, it's not an awkward situation for me, but for the other person, man. When I go to restaurants and that with my girl, if they try to hand me the bill and it says service charge on it, I told them, my friend, take away the service charge. My girl might think it's embarrassing. I'm not paying the service charge. I don't have to. I've had people in a restaurant try to test me on it, you know. Why they want to pay the uh, service charge? But don't ask me why I, wanna pay the, uh, I don't want to pay the service charge. I don't have to. Yeah? One girl, she's like six, seven years older than me. She was like a female friend, like colleague. I don't friend up no females, but she was dead anyway. So yeah, that you know, certain man, they, they, well, a lot of man, they're trying to be a female's friend so that they can sneak in the back door. <laughs> whether the door, whether the roof was off, I ain't trying to creep in that girl's yard. You understand what I'm trying to say? Dead thing, innit? We must have went to Wood Green one time for like a yeah, like a lunch thing or whatever, innit? And they come to serve us the bill. Yeah, so we finish eating, they come to give us the bill and that. And I said, yo, remove the service charge. And the guy was like, no, the, the girl was like, really? And I was like, yeah, really. And don't ask me why, um, don't, don't, don't try and test me on it. Don't try and challenge me on it. Then afterwards, the manager come over trying to find out why I don't want to pay the service. I'm like, bro, why are you coming over here for? And so anyway, the girl, she's a little bitch. She a little pussy. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll pay the service charge. Nah, man, fuck that, man. Stand your ground. If, you're, if someone don't want to pay the service charge and they don't have to, why the fuck are you just going to do it for the sake of it, blood? I ain't bending. I ain't caving, blood. If I don't want to pay the service charge, I'm not paying it. No one can bully me. No one can test me, blood. So anyway, she stopped talking to man and that. She was like, and this was these times before I got with Nadia, innit? She was like, ah, oh, 
after she paid it and they walked away, she was like, listen, yeah, if you go out on the, the only type of girl that's gonna like you is some ratchet ass ghetto ass girl. Well, fortunately, Nadia is no ratchet ass ghetto ass girl, in it? So, I'm a, blood, listen. Anyway, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm not having it. No one's, no one's pressuring me into buying no fucking, obviously, don't get choose. I don't wanna embarrass people. Maybe if I was at like a friend's birthday or whatever and everyone's paying a service charge, I might chip in in that car. I don't wanna spoil the night. For my friend's birthday or whatever, innit? But if I'm organising the, the meal and it's between me and my girl, oh, I ain't paying no, or me and my mum, or I'm organising it or whatever, and it's just between me and one or two people that are my people, them, oh, I ain't paying no fucking service charge, blood. Gwe, gwe, go move your blood class off. Stay wise. Done.